Hello everybody, Crips here, and thanks for joining me as usual. And as you can see today, I'm actually using the webcam, and I thought I might try something different today. If it works well, I might use it in future tutorials. All right, so uh, last week I launched the Corel Paint Shop Pro review for the version 7, and I showed you a pretty cool feature, which was the text cutting tool. But I didn't show you what else it can do, and that is also do shapes. So if we went into the preset shape tool here, just underneath the text, uh, we get a host of like preset shapes. For those who don't know, you can also add in your own presets. So you can go into File, go to Preferences, go to File Locations, and then you see here File Types, you see here Preset Shapes. So then you can add in your own shapes. And there's a ton of them on the website. Just Google Shapes or Preset Shapes, and you'll actually quite, you'll find quite a lot because, I mean, it took me like a couple of minutes to find just these. <laughs> you know they're nothing fancy but it was just there to prove that it can be done and then you can use these shapes in any way you want but we'll keep it simple here we'll we'll use a rectangle and i'll show you exactly what the shape cutting tool does so i want to just zoom on just one a picture of the, this is my training partner by the way he always pretends he exaggerates when he lifts weights i mean look at that face but i'm going to draw a box around it because i'm, I'm going to tease him and I'm gonna email it to him. All right, so now this has come up and I can use the same action here, which is the, uh, the shape cutter, like so. So it immediately then launches into a new window and then I, I have the picture already. So that's pretty cool. But I can also go back into here because what it did, it actually created a layer. So a shape cutting layer. So if I use my, my uh, pick tool and I move this, you can see that it's also here. Now, as soon as I moved it, it actually duplicated. It actually made a promotional one as well. And it still retained the original shape. So if I just scroll down, I actually have two. I don't know why they gave me two, but that's their option, right? So that's what the shape cutter tool does. So if you've got some pretty cool shapes that you want to apply to a photo and then have that photo in that shape, I tell you what, that's a pretty neat feature. And I, and I understand because somebody commented saying, oh, Photoshop has this too. Yeah, it does, but so does Corel uh, Paint Shop Pro now. Cool. All right, now, before I go, I want to show you something else. And I really should have showed you this in the preview or the review. Even Corel called me up and he goes, dude, you forgot something really cool. And I said, I'm sorry, but I'll show you today. Now, first I'm going to do is launch a version 6 again. Now, if I use my eyedropper, and I use it over here on the material palettes, and as you know, for those who don't know, if you click on it, it opens up the material properties. So, you know, I can zoom, you know, hone in on the colors more. But I can also do better now in version 7. So let's have a look at version 7 and do the same thing. <gasps> look at that. That's pretty cool, right? It's got now color gradient pattern textures. I mean, that's, that's pretty neat, right? It's, uh, it just gave you so much more to work with in, in the uh, material properties palette. And I really thought that was a good feature. And I really should have shown everybody that in the review. But anyway, here it is. So there you go. And as always, thanks for watching.